Hey, it's Steve and welcome to my shop. Now I talk to a lot of makers. Some of them are professionals and they use a laser as a tool for their business, but a lot of them are first time makers. Maybe they just bought a laser or they're in the market for one. Regardless, the question almost everybody asks is why can't lasers be easier? And I've made no secret of the fact that I think a laser should be more like an appliance and less like a project where maybe there's just a single button you push, uh, just like a toaster, and it does some function for you and you come back in some period of time and the thing you asked for is done. And in this video, I wanna talk about this. This is about as close to a toaster in the laser world as you're gonna get. It's a new laser called the Vision from a company that's also new called We Create, and they have created something here that I think is pretty amazing. It does answer that question, why can't lasers be easier? The short answer is because they're not this. And with that, we, we can get going here. So I'll start with a quick flyover here. The front of this laser is about as clean as you can possibly get. It's got a single button on the front. In fact, this whole laser only has two buttons on it. Uh, also on the front, you can remove a tray out of the bottom. So whenever you're doing a lot of cutting, you can take all those crumbs and you can throw them out. Rolling around to the back, we have a Wi-Fi antenna, uh, exhaust port, standard connections, USB and power, a power switch, which is the second button, and connections for air. Uh, looking inside, you can see it's really well constructed, uh, drag chains everywhere, so cable handling is exceptional. There's a really nice grate in the bottom that you can remove. And uh, also on the center of the lid on the top, there's a, there's a camera and that will give you positioning accuracy about half a millimeter. Uh, also there's some extras, there's a pump, a rotary tool that looks suspiciously like an RA2 Pro and also some tools that you can use uh, for maintenance and, and general usage. So all in all, it's a really nice package. It's well put together and I'm quite excited to try it. So we create, wanted to create a laser experience that was both user-friendly and accessible to everyone and really anyone should be able to use this. When you start their software, which is called Make It, you're immediately presented with a library of, of projects that other people have created and you can select one of those and, and create that project. And of course you can create your own project, uh, click that new project button, it shows you the workspace and immediately takes a picture of what's, what's in there. Drop something on it, then you can determine whether you want to engrave it, fill it or cut it, in this case I'll fill it. And you then of course have control of power and speed and uh, in this case you can also control whether you're doing a unidirectional engraving or bidirectional and then you can control the, the uh, line density of the laser. So all in all it's very simple. We'll talk a bit more about the software as we go. We create may want to hide a lot of the complexity from users here but I'm a nerd so I like to talk about these things. So just before we actually start using the laser uh, let me talk about some of the specs. Top speed 600 millimeters a second, which I think is pretty decent. Positioning accuracy 0.01, which is on par with pretty much every other laser. Laser output here is 20 watts. Uh, compare that to something like a Glowforge Aura, which I think is six. And the workspace here is just shy of 300 millimeters by 420 millimeters. So it's a good size, uh, considering that this is effectively a desktop laser. Uh, lifespan, uh, because people ask, uh, is about 10,000 hours according to WeCreate. And before you leave a comment about how thick this can cut, the answer for wood is about 10 millimeters. So you aren't going to cut two by fours, but you're certainly going to have a capable laser for cutting most of the things that you would do uh, if this laser was sitting on your desk. So one feature that makes a, a laser easy to use is something like autofocus. And the We Create Vision has this built in, and for the most part it's passive, but you can also access it from, from the UI in, in the Make It software. And what this laser does is it moves the entire cabinet up and down. You have about 100 millimeters of range with the grills in and 140 if you take them out. And you can see it moves the entire cabinet up and down. And once it gets down to the material, it moves the laser head out of the way and you have access to it again. So uh, very slick feature, it works really well. It's completely passive actually. Uh, you don't even have to think about it. After about five minutes of using this laser, you forget that it's there. And with all that out of the way, let me just drop a piece of material down onto the grate here inside the laser. And then I'll go back over to the Make It software and you can see the sheet that I dropped there. Uh, I'm loading a, just a vector graphic here, something really simple. This is actually a, a logo that I'm playing with for a future video. And uh, the yellow lines there will be, will be engraves. And for the lettering, I'm going to do a fill 
just to make it stand out a little more. And uh, really all I have to do then is hit the start button, uh, send this over to the, to the laser and hit that, that button, the go button on the front and we're ready to go. It starts to engrave and at this point it works very much like any other laser except that I know things are gonna be exact, exactly where I place them. And uh, then the final output here you can see if I can get it out of the laser, looks really good. Uh, a little bit of smoke there on the on some of the deeper engraving, but overall it looks pretty good and a quick rub would take care of most of that. Now, if you're anything like me, you have a complete lack of artistic ability. Fortunately, we create make it the tool has this AI option and you can type anything you want in here. So I'll type this ridiculous thing about a cat riding a bicycle. I selected three images there, so it'll go off and generate uh, through AI three different images. And, uh, and I get them and sure enough, there are cats riding bicycles. One of them has its head on backwards, but I'll pick this first one and uh, we'll just add it to the canvas. It'll give you the maximum size initially, but you can certainly resize this and uh, you know, we'll drag it up into the corner there. And then I can go in and play with the settings and uh, I'll use a 200 line per inch here and you can see the engraving happening there. It came out pretty good. Uh, the setting, it looks a little dark here. That was me. I, I darkened it up a little bit, but I probably could have gone lighter. Anyway, it, it worked out really well. And again, if you don't have any artistic ability, you're probably going to use this feature quite a bit. Now, a laser is completely useless unless it can cut. And this WeCreate has a 20 watt laser module, so it certainly can. So what I did was I laid down this seahorse and it's pretty intricate. It's got a few cutouts in it and it cut this really well. Uh, very little smoke trail left on the surface and the edges are nice and clean. The ventilation in this laser uh, is fantastic, so any smoke that comes up will get sucked out right away. Now, just before I leave, we, we create Make It. Uh, there's a couple of other things that I didn't talk about that I'll, I'll, I'll cover here briefly. Uh, the first one is obviously layers. Uh, you can certainly create new layers if you want to have another layer, you, you can just do it. And then you can change the settings on a layer. Uh, it doesn't work as well as I think it should, and maybe they're they're still working on this. I really think that a layer should have a, an assigned color. I should be able to select a color here. Uh, minor detail, but it's one of those things that is a learning curve, and in a tool like this that's, a, that's easy, it, it seems like an outlier as far as uh, challenges go. But anyway, it's there if you, if you need it. The other thing is uh, the ability to select materials. And they have a, a, a very basic library there. So certainly I was using the three millimeter basswood setting, but I've dropped a piece of stainless steel in here and I can then go and select metal and uh, it will go and engrave my circle it, and it works, it, 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 it's okay. But if, if I have uh, maybe something special, you know, maybe I have a specific material that I'm working with. Wood may not be enough. I, I want walnut specifically. I can go in here and I can I can set my own settings for things. And, you know, in the case of my walnut, it's probably 25 millimeters. And uh, and then I can set my own settings for, for things that are in here. So again, it's simple, it works well. And once I, once I save this, it will, it will then be available in my list as something I can select. And you can see it down here. And I've already added another one here for 11 millimeter plywood. Uh, anyway, th th that's make it, it, it works well. It's easy to use for sure. And it keeps, it's in the theme of, of what we create is trying to achieve here, which is easy one button kind of operation. So that's the We Create Vision. It's a really nice 20 watt laser in what I would call a new class of lasers called desktop lasers. You could actually put this in your office and put it beside your computer if you could ventilate to the outside or have a fume extractor and We Create offers one of those. Uh, you could use this safely in, in inside your house or in, in your office if that's where you're, where you're using it. It is very easy to use. The Make It software is super simple and what you see there is what you get. So layout is exactly how it appears on the material when the laser works with it. I didn't talk about this in the video up, up to this point, but this is also a very safe laser. Uh, you know, if you're working in a, in a family environment, maybe you have young children, if they come along and open the lid while the laser is running, it will stop immediately. So there's no danger of exposure. Uh, that's really important, I think, in the market they're trying to target here. Now, if you're like many of the people on this channel, you probably are pretty tightly tied to light burn for, for your laser in your workshop. 
but this is a different kind of laser. This one is really targeted at those professionals who may or may not be laser experts and certainly new users who definitely aren't. And for those people, Lightburn can be a bit intimidating. Uh, it's, Lightburn is very powerful, but it's very complex. So by contrast, the Make It software is very easy and those people who, who this laser is targeted at will love it. Now, the other issue that some people might have is uh, the workspace size here is a bit smaller. Most of the people who have open frame lasers are used to maybe 400 by 400 millimeters or, or more. Uh, this one, by contrast, is a little bit smaller. It's 300 by 400 approximately. So some people might balk at that. But as I mentioned, I tend to use lasers that I'm reviewing in my shop as regular lasers. So I, I you know, I, I'm a new user at that point. And I built projects with this over the past week or two, and I haven't had any problems. So workspace really wasn't an issue for me. Uh, the other thing, you know, if you're certainly using something like a Sculptfun S30, you're used to a laser that you can throw around. This one, by contrast, is mostly metal, and it can be, it's fairly bulky. It weighs, I don't know, 20 pounds. So it's, it's a big, beefy laser, but it, it, that comes at a cost. It's also heavy. So you're not going to throw this around. It's not portable. So, you know, if, if that's what you're looking for, don't expect that from the WeCreate Vision. But if you want something super easy to use, it's the laser for you. Now, if you do want to buy a WeCreate Vision, I'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, it's still in pre-order, I believe, but by the time you get to watch this, it should be shipping to, to end users. There's also an early bird special, so I'll put the details of that up above here as, as I finish off. Uh, I'll also put a link up above if you are interested in uh, doing some kind of comparison, although there's really not a lot of, of other lasers that compete with this one as far as comparison. But go watch that, and I'll see you over there. And with that, I'll wind down. So get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.